let's let's check it out. Let's check out what we got. <laughs> Amazing. Welcome to the flip side and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, another episode of our hardcore series. Just a quick house cleaning topic right off the top. I want to thank you guys for your patience while we have taken a little bit of a break from our co-op series. Uh, life's, it's been a little bit crazy recently. We haven't gotten to any episodes. Sarah's actually going to Vegas for a full week for a work trip. Uh, again, this time for the full week though. And then between having the dog and Sarah getting sick, we've I've not had the heart to really push her to sit down and record those with me, as I know she does that. Um, as in addition to all of her other daily things. So uh, we're going to be doing hardcore episodes every single day. The series, yes, is evolving. It's going to be a daily series. And then the co-op episodes are going to come in and pop in whenever... We have some time to record them. So you're going to be seeing ARC every day still, regardless of what series it is. And some days, you may even get two episodes of ARC. We'll see how that goes for a little bit. If that's too much, then we can scale back. But that is the plan for the moment. I hope you guys are excited for that. But I have an idea for today's episode. And the idea is actually not mine. It was left on the com in the comment section of our Spino taming video, so two videos ago, from Gray Eyes and Friends, I want to say the name was. It had a little Minecraft avatar, so thank you to you who had such an awesome idea. And he said, since our base kind of looks like a castle, we should go and tame a couple monkeys to stand guard. And I just love that idea so much. We are going to execute on that idea. So we are going to go and <laughs> look for a couple megapithecuses. Or Gigantopithecus. I always forget which one is the monkey boss. And which... I, I don't need to carry that meat with me, actually. I always forget which one's the monkey boss and which one is the just the, just the large monkeys. But regardless, we're going to go get a big monkey. We are going to tame it up. And we are going to uh, have a couple of them standing guard in our castle. Just because that's fun. And I like fun things from time to time. Not every single thing that we do needs to be life or death or solely about the mission at hand or at large. Today, we are going to be doing something just for fun. Unfortunately, I don't have the Chieftain Hat skin because when I spawn, I dump all the skins usually and... Well, obviously, we can't die to get those skins back. I could spawn in a Chieftain Hat, I suppose. I'd have to look up the GFI code for that. But I'm not too worried about that right now, even though the Chieftain Hat is way fun. It would make more sense for me to wear it and then my Guardian subjects to wear other helmets. Maybe we'll try some of those other armor skins in the from this mod that we have going on and put it on the monkeys and see what kind of amazing effect that has oh look at that i am like starving here so let's let's eat a, a tid a tid bit and now we're gonna go so we've got our rg who needs to level up a bit so we may pick on uh, pick some fights with some lower level things as we get closer to the redwoods but we will not be venturing in to the darn redwoods we will be venturing around the redwoods, but not inside. And if, for whatever reason, we are too close to anything, or too close to the redwoods at all, we're just gonna pop our spino out. What's her name again? Ellie, that's right. We're gonna pop Ellie out of her little cryopod of comfort and sick her on the world. I still am just beside myself that we were able to tame that, tame that spinosaurus. How amazing is that? I just, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's been a couple days since I've recorded, but I still, when I was editing the Spino video, I'm like, I can't believe how lucky we got. Because it truly is lucky that we had such a high-level Spino in that region where you're able to use the environment and the terrain elevation to tame something that really should be way, way outside of our ability to tame. 
But here's the thing. So my puppy, adorable, wonderful, amazing. I took her to go see Monty's dog, who is almost two years old. She's a German Shepherd Husky mix, and she is a beautiful dog, and she's so good. So I took Tally over to Monty's house yesterday, and they got to play. It was Tally's first play date slash interaction with another dog since she's um, getting all of her shots all taken care of. She can hang out with dog other dogs a little bit more. Um, and when we got home, Tally slept. We did that in the morning. She slept all day and all night. <laughs> it was incredible. So today she's awake a little bit. I just gave her a chew to indulge in while I'm recording, and I gave it to her right before I started, and she's already finished it. So I think I may need to invest into some higher-density chews for her as she's already well and done. Hopefully now she'll take a nap because she's been up for a little while. Uh, just wandering about because Sarah came home for lunch because Sarah and I, mostly Sarah because she is awesome, uh, cooked a meal for a family at our church who had just had a baby a couple months ago but has had a ton of medical issues. It's been really sad. So they've been in the hospital a lot. And so we were asked by one of the pastors if we would provide a meal for them. So we made some chicken parm. Well, really, Sarah made the chicken parm. I made the mashed potatoes, though. Granted, they they may or may not have been instant mashed potatoes. But have you guys ever made instant mashed potatoes? It is genuinely one of the most mind-blowing things. You boil some water, pour some powder into this boiling water, and you stir it, and mashed potatoes form. It's incredible. It makes no sense. It blew my little prehistoric mind. I could not believe it. It's the first time I've ever like really made instant mashed potatoes. And I will tell you what, it was awesome to just be stirring water. And then all of a sudden, it's freaking mashed potatoes with a nice consistency. It smelled delicious. I was really jelly when I was putting it into the to-go container to keep it warm for the people and Sarah took it away. I was I was very sad. I'm like, I gotta get me some more of these. Not just to eat it, but just to stir it again. It was so cool. I'm telling you, it's the little things in life that often get overlooked that really, really are amazing. Like, that's nuts. I don't know. I'm probably being really, really silly right now, but I just thought it was so cool, man. You just you pour it in there and you stir. That's it. I just... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm weird. Whatever. I see a monkey. All right, monkey. I guess I really don't... 108! I was going to say I don't really care about the levels, but psh, if we got a chance for a 108, girl, we got to go and get it! All right. Oh, there's also a white Dan, which makes, in my mind, a lot of sense for Thor to have an albino steer. Huh? All right, we're going we're gonna to watch ourselves here. Monkey, don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna boop. All right, one. All right, let's let's get you let's get you put away. All right, it's a lady monkey. Fantastic, love it. Oh, that that Ovis is running from something. Actually, that wasn't an Ovis. I don't think. No, it wasn't. Hey, okay, where was that other monkey? Yeah, he's over there. All right, hey, uh, smoke. Follow me, just in case something bad happens. All right, let's go. I also love some... Hey, 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 hey! No! No! Very bad. That took me way too long to realize that she was licking the power outlet. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey! You have locked under the desk privileges. That is very no-no. You're going to blow up my computer system. What the heck? Don't you have any care for your father's business? She's ashamed now, yeah. as she should be. Man, how did she not get shocked? She was literally tonguing that power strip under my desk. You cannot be doing it. You know what? Maybe I should have let her get shocked. All right, that may sound harsh, but she would never do it again. Granted, she is a dog. So she probably would. <laughs> she, they probably would. So I think I made the right choice in stopping that one from happening. Gosh, I don't even remember what I was talking about anymore. 
Was I even talking or was I just focused on the on the taming process? All right, yeah, she's she's laying in her bed now. She's like, oh crap, dad got mad. Yes. Oh, hey, watch it. That's right, you stay in your bed. You stay over in that way. You lost under the, under the desk privileges. Perhaps one day you will learn them back, but not today. Well, yeah, probably probably today. As long as she just laid down by my feet, I think I'll approve it. Now I know I have to watch for her as she's a little glutton for punishment. Oh, what I was saying, or at least what I was trying to get to, but oh, Prolovia, no thank you, friend. Is she being, no, 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 wait, what was I saying? Comment, yeah, somebody left a comment saying that I should tame two Ovises and then name them the names of Thor's mystical goats. And that I thought was also an awesome idea. I gotta look up who said that. If it was you who said that, I know you watch all the videos. Remind me which one of the commenters said that. Tell me your name and also the names of the goats so that I can screenshot it and we can do that because that just sounds like a really fun idea. What do we got? Level four Spino? Come on, son. And that's a Microraptor, so, oh gosh. Uh-oh, 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 this is not good. No, it's not good. Get out of here. That's right, time to freaking die, Raptors. All right, looks like it's time for me to, to ride with with Ellie for a little while. All right, Smoke, you did, you did good-ish. Really, it's my fault for flying too close to the ground, but I, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Ellie for a little bit. Tally, what are you doing? Hey, come here. Sniffing too much, as if you're thinking you can pee on the office floor. I don't know what gave you that idea. You little goobs. You little goobs. Could you just let me go find an otter real quick, and then and then we can do whatever you want. That's it. That's all right. I take you outside. You can poop outside. You can you can do whatever you want. But it's gotta wait until the end of the episode. All right. You're making me edit too much of my episodes, doggy. Level 72 female. Does me no good. We need a boy so that we can read. Make little Spino babies. Imagine the power we would have with a Spinosaurus army. Oh gosh. I keep pressing nine to get to my spyglass when I've moved it to five. Come on, Jacob, get with the Flipping program. Here we go. All right, fill up that canteen for all the water that we waste. And side mission, BT dubs. We we're looking for monkeys. I killed that one not because it was level 12, because it was female. We already have two females, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a male. Every single creature we've tamed in this entire Let's Play so far has been a female. We need some testosterone around camp, you know? But we also are going to be looking for an otter while we're out here. Because... That's a good girl. That's my baby. You're so good. She's lying on my foot now. That is an appropriate place for you to hang out. All right. I see a monkey. Got a monkey at my 12 o'clock. And a pego. Let's kill the crap out of that stupid thing. All right, monkey. Hello. I've come to recruit you to protect my base. Why are you, uh, fine, fine, fine. I guess this is like girl power going on today, huh? Uh-oh, uh, hopefully Ellie will take, nailed it. Did I just name her E? Okay, fantastic. Thankfully it doesn't take when I put in random numbers or letters most of the time. It's very nice. Now she's just licking the legs of my desk. I just, I just don't understand why she can't be content with just licking her own toy. <laughs> That'd be real nice. All right, everybody, keep your eyes, your ears, and everything open for some otters. They should be in this region. Actually, they may be more. Uh, yeah, yeah, right around here. Let's kill that Microraptor. Don't want any trouble from that thing. All right, so we're gonna walk in the water and just be careful. Probably be easier if I got out and looked underwater. I'm just afraid. Grab some organic polymer real quick from these big, big things. All right, Ellie, stay right there. We're just gonna take a peek. See if we see any furry friends swimming about. Not seeing, not seeing anything, but we really could use an otter 
for some of that coveted temperature regulation, which we're missing out on. Basically, everywhere we go, we're either hot, we're either cold. It's just, it's not ideal, really, so. Gotta find our, is that? Nope, that's a piranha. Okay, don't want to deal with that. What's back there? Piranha, okay, well. Freaking piranha about to go, go bye-bye. Bye, piranha, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, look at all these ducks. That's so many organic polymer! Like that. Man, if only I knew earlier in life that these ducks gave you organic polymer. Amazing. Wish, yeah, I really do wish I would have known that sooner, though. Oh, well, we know it now. Now we're moving on with life. All right, we got a couple things in the water over there. Not really sure what's going Oh, I found one! All right, I found two. All right, very good, very good. Kill the piranhas, leave the otters. Oh, was that 40 or 140? Okay, just 40 and 36. Okay, we'll take this one right here. Let me go smack, oh my gosh, these are all sand. Oh no, here we go. I was gonna say, I really don't wanna pick a fight with a swarm of saber-toothed salmons. Hey-oh! All right, get on over here. And you were another female, right? Yeah, wow, so many females <laughs> everywhere. The heck? All right, well done, everybody. Ooh, that's a cool looking monkey, but I don't have any more room. I don't have any more crab pods, but it's an ashy one, and it's level 28, and it's a boy. Dang it. That would have been our first male. What about this one? Level eight. No good. No good, I say. All right, well, let's go ahead and head on home. Uh, maybe we'll check for beaver dam over here real quick, though. While, while we're here... Oh, hey. Are you a potential mate? Wow, you are, but you suck. All right. Sorry, but Ellie's got higher standards than a level 12. I'm... Hey, look, look. I'm just... I'm not... I'm not speaking on her behalf. She told me this. So, uh, I'm just passing the word on to you, potential suitor. That's not actually a potential suitor at all, because you poopy. All right, what should I do? Should I get back on the RG, fly it back home? Or should we just party with the Spino and just make our way, make our way through the swamp, maybe pick up some leech blood along the way? I saw a little baby monkey just now. All right, I, I wanna, <laughs> need to make sure the otter was actually on my shoulder. Right, let's go ahead and actually feed it real quick as she has no food. All right, we'll name you when we get home. We're not taking any chances. We got three monkeys. And real quick, what are they? So this is the Gigantopithecus. The monster boss is the Megapithecus. Okay, I gotta remember that for future notice. For the future. Because we may be bailing on the whole Megatherium army thing if I can get an army of Spinos. Because there'd be no point in doing Megatheriums if I had 20 Spinos. Like, it's just, what, what's, what, just, what's the point? You know? I could take the time to tame two high-level Megatheriums and breed them till we have 20, or I could just get another Spino! And the utility of that, so much greater. So much greater. So that, my friends, is really the direction I'd like to go, but the problem in, lies in, herein lies, that I need to find a male that's decent and not having a whole luck, a lot of luck at that. But if I just go up and down the rivers and just murder all the fish and everything nearby, then we could we could force a spawn of a spino and then just cross our fingers that it's actually decent and not gonna be like a, a poopy level spino. I love seeing albino titanoboas. I actually think those are super cool. Remember Danger Noodle? That first titanoboa we ever tamed and then it died because we didn't realize what it ate and so it starved to death. Oh, I'm dying! Let's uh, fix that real quick. That's, that's no bueno. No bueno, friends. All right, let's go ahead and cross over. Cross over swampy land and get get ourselves back home. Mm, don't think we're gonna see any spinos in here. It has happened. 
It has happened where I've run into a Spino in the swampiness, but I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen today. So we're just gonna, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling lucky when it comes to the swamps. So we're just gonna power our way through as quickly as possible. Not worry about too much. And really, when we go through and murder everything in the rivers to try to force a Spino spawn, what I really gotta do is turn off Ellie's harvesting, resource harvesting. Because we get overloaded real fast when we do that. But what's exciting is if we can just make it to actually finding a male and then being able to tame it. I think we're gonna be pretty sad. We may have a little bit of trouble with the dragon, potentially just because it does extra damage to carnivores. But I think an army of imprinted Spinosauruses should be able to handle that with relative ease. And if we lose a couple, as long as we keep one male and one female or a couple eggs on hand, then it's no big deal. And we can take them in to go fight the Overseer and boom, Bob's your uncle moving on to Scorched Earth with an army of Spinosauruses, which I'm thinking, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I was thinking about making each map, essentially, like if we finish the island and get to Scorched Earth without dying, almost like a checkpoint. So that instead of coming all the way back to the island if we die on Scorched Earth, we just have to restart on Scorched Earth again. So tell me what you guys think about that idea. Or do you like the idea of the super hardcore mode where if we die on scorched earth we have to go all the way back to the island i'm just not sure if that's interesting content for people to watch for us to finally make it past the island and then uh die like in the first couple episodes of scorched earth and have to start completely over back on the island i feel like that would be more irritating than entertaining at that point so let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you, do you like the idea of making the map transfers uh, checkpoints, so to speak, so that once we finish the island, then we've officially conquered the island and we don't have to come back to it. So let me know your guys' thoughts in those darn, 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 darn comments down below. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take a little drink of my water here. Oh, that's good. That's good. Did I call it water? It's actually an energy drink, which has water in it of some sort. It is some semblance of a water solution, presumably. Hey, Barry. How are we doing? Barry? Barry? Barry, I can't see. All right, you suck. You suck? I'm moving on. Goodbye. All right, we're going this way home because I want to... No, no, no. Well, hey, 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 I'm not even going home. Home is this away. What the heck am I doing? Wow, I'm so turned around right now. Where the heck am I? I, th I think I know where I am, but I'm actually a, a little confused right now. Come on, come on, Ellie, you can do it. Um, is it? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm not sure if it's this PD or a rock that's blocking me right now. Regardless of what it is, it, it needs to die and move aside. Oh, okay, okay, I know where I am, I know where I am. This is, this is where I was trying to get to. All right. Let's go ahead and kill these stupid jerks. Hey, Spino has a level up. I haven't seen that in a little while. Yeah, up that health. And then if we can get one more level, we can get her to 15,000 health. And that is where she can sit while we just pour into melee damage. Oh, yeah. Amazing stuff. All right, we got a couple Brontos. Do we have any Spinos in this area? Regardless of if we do or not, we're gonna go ahead and murder everything in this water to try to force the Spino spawn. So, where is it under options? The resource gather, harvest settings, there it is. Disable victim item collection, is that? I think it's resource harvesting. What the heck, that Gallimimus just walked into me and got smooshed. All right. There we go, we're not picking up anything anymore, good. All right. Come to die, everybody! 
We're looking for another Spinosaurus! And your deaths are the sacrifice that shall bring it about. Should I not kill this Baryonyx? Nah, that's good. Good thing I, you know, I killed first and asked questions later. That's super helpful. Sorry, Tex Dego, you gotta die too. I'm not gonna pick up any of your crap, unfortunately, but you know. I'm not gonna get off of our Spino just to pick up your nonsense. Alright, sorry Parasaur, you gotta die. Everyone dies! Until I get myself my Spino. Is that him? Is that him right now? Level 8! Yes! Definitely not! Dang. I wonder what level I would... I would accept. I want to say anything over 100. But really, I'm kind of thinking anything over like 75? Just because I don't want to wait that long to try to find a level 100 Spino. That could take ages. But hopefully, every time I come home, if I just murder everything in this area, that there'll be a new Spino spawning over here. That would that would be awesome. Because if I can get it, if I can force it to spawn in this area, then I can use the same method that I used to get Ellie to get the other one. I would just have to provoke it to chase me over to the canyon and then I should be able to to just use the exact same method which would be awesome so we'll see we'll see that it that is the mission but right now I don't have to worry too much about creating a Spinosaurus army because we don't even have the artifacts that we need and that's that's really what we're looking for here but before we go and get any artifacts something I would like to do is actually go and tame a Basilosaurus and we can use Megara to go and do that or at least to swim us around safely enough to find a Basilosaurus and then we're going to tame one so that we can start harvesting some biotoxins which will allow us to tame whatever we darn well feel like taming it'll be good to just have those on hand the shocking trank darts for whatever we may encounter down the line so that is that is the next mission is finding ourselves a bacillosaurus now that we took a little bit of time off to find ourselves an otter which will help keep our temperature regulated which is fantastic and we also got ourselves three mighty monkey guards which we gotta we gotta go put them at their stations before we end this episode which means that i probably need to make another trough because they probably won't reach the one well, it depends on where I put them, I guess. If I put them at the front gate. Oh! That's a gold supply drop. We're going to go check that out. You kidding me? Imagine if we can get, like, an ascendant long neck rifle with the shocking trank darts. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Imagine the possibilities. But when we trap a Giga and go to tame it, having an ascendant long neck rifle and shocking trink darts would help a lot for the amount of time that it takes to actually tame one of those darn things. Alright, so let's go check that out real fast like. See if we've got anything good awaiting awaiting us at, at the gold beam of the Bifrost. Excuse me! Excuse, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, I'm Thor. Clearly not the god of navigating terrain or parkour, even though I claim to be quite frequently. The truth comes out when I actually attempt to jump over some rocks, and, you know, the rocks just kind of meet me. Ah, it's a stegosaurus emerging from the Bifrost! Oh, dang. It's not, it's not even ready. How high up is it still? Excuse me, tree. Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. It's so far. It's so far still. What, what a waste. What a waste. Okay, oh, hey, 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 I almost just jumped. Thinking I had the gravity-defying boots of the techness, but that is not a thing that I have, so I'm happy I didn't actually jump there. All right, Ellie, just hang out out here. You really don't need to be in here. You are you are too good. Okay, I'm thinking about just putting all three of them in this area right here. Oh, can't fit. Are you kidding me? They can fit. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna put one there. Love it. And I'm gonna put one here. Love it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, but th those are definitely not centered to each other. There 
I'm just gonna hop on, do a little back. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Ah, there we go. Not perfect, but you know, it's pretty darn close. Let's find the last monkey. And we'll put the last monkey as a guard up here by the throne. Uh nah, I don't want him don't want him up here. He's just gonna he's just gonna clutter up the space. We'll put another monkey guard. Uh over right here. Right here. Nice! And we're just gonna keep adding monkey guards <laughs> as we go along. I love it. Let's give him Do I have any extra helmets right now? I don't. So let's let's go find let's go find our lady some helmets. We should be able to make a couple flak helmets and that that would be perfect for the guardian state that they will be serving. Okay, throw it in there. One more and then give me that last give me that give, give me that give me that give me that last flak. Boom 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 boom. Let's let's make it daytime so we can see it. I would like to actually see these silly guys. Girls. Whatever. Alright, Gigantopithic is one! Yes! <laughs> what a ridiculous thing, but now we have guards for the castle of Thor! Nobody shall mess with us! <laughs> so silly. I love it so much. Look at that. That's freaking amazing. Right, let's go ahead and we're gonna put this one in the middle actually so that we've got our three guards guarding the castle and it's it's just great so let's go ahead and give them names real quick obviously we've got to name them we got guard one let's see is it is, is that too uh is that too uninspired Guard two. Listen, we may end up with so many monkeys, it'd be impossible to keep track of all their names. So maybe one day I'll give you guys real names, but for now, this is gonna have to do. And then let's toss her. All right. Gotta give her a name. Let's call her Tay Tay. All right, so we got Tay Tay over here. And give her a little bit more health, and I need to get Tay Tay a helmet as. Well, so let's get her black helmet. And what can what skins can we make over here? What is hats? Oh, it's a pirate hat? What? Yes! <laughs> yes! Please! Even though there's a Okay, yes, 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 yes. Right, we gotta put that on the otter. That's gonna be amazing. Got a nice strong hearty hat for Tay Tay. All right, if the pirate hat works, I'm gonna change her name. Is she on me right now? Where the heck did I put her? Oh, she's probably following me. Tay Tay, where you at, girlfriend? Yeah, if the, if the pirate hat works, I got a different name for her. Uh, put that on there. Yes! <laughs> we'll name her Elizabeth from Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's Let's check it out, let's check out what we got. <laughs> amazing it's amazing hold on hold on hold on hold on because we got the hats let's see if we i want to see what other hats we got real quick because that looks like a lot of fun wait used to change you can use the skin the appearance you can use this skin the appearance of pants that makes no sense does it actually change the appearance of pants? Yeah, I didn't think so. That's weird. I need to repair all this crap. All right, let's let's go put these on the on the monkeys. <laughs> Real quick. All right. Take that off. Oh, so good, so good. All right. Excellent. Excellent, ladies. You're looking fabulous. Each and every one of you. And then you will be the big boss daddy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so silly, but so fun. 
Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new episodes every single day of Ark Survival Evolved as we continue our quest to conquer the island and all the rest of the Ark DLCs on Hardcore Mode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will see all of you on the flip side.